Now, after a couple of coin tosses last night, President Obama will take the first question, and Mitt Romney will be able to end the debate with the final answer. We want to go live inside uh, the media center here near Magnus Arena, and our Tyler Lopez standing by with a look at the setup. Tyler? Anna, this is Spin Alley. Take a look at the breakdown for you now. The Republicans are on this side talking about their candidate, what he needs to do tonight for Mitt Romney. Democrats on the other side. This area was fairly quiet until about 7.30. Not anymore. People are steadily filing in. Take a look at this vast expanse for the media. As you said, closer to 4,000 media folks credentialed for this event, 700 from international locations, folks from Tokyo, from Russia, domestic locations too, the New York and L.A. Times, Durango here as well, all to make sure they know exactly what happens tonight on that stage. And if you can believe it, they're still putting the finishing touches to that stage even today, transforming the Magnus Arena from the home of the very successful Denver, Denver Pioneer hockey team to a debate hall. We just got final word, too. It's going to be just over 1,000 people. That'll make up the live audience tonight. They've been told to stay quiet, and many see this as a make-or-break night for Mitt Romney. But I just talked with a DU political science professor. He says Romney will likely stay vague and may not, to choose, may not choose, I should say, to zero in on specifics if he's elected. It's getting pretty late in the campaign for him to start to get really specific about his policy proposals. Um, so instead, what I, I think he'll be looking to do is, again, to show his compassionate side, uh, to show that he really understands how Americans have been struggling in these tough economic times, and again, try and find a, a breakthrough moment where he defines the choice between himself and President Obama. Now, security has been very specific. Even at 3 in the morning, it took us about 45 minutes to get through. Our items, our bags have all been checked by three different canine units. Now, for coverage later today, we've got three different locations, two on the floor and one above to bring you the very best debate coverage throughout the day and especially tonight. That's the latest from Spin Alley reporting live on Tyler Lopez. Let's go back outside now to Mitch and Anna. All right, Tyler, thank you.